The psychiatric nurse at the Southern Regional Hospital here in Dangriga said that suicide is a serious health problem and a tragedy that affects families, communities, and the country. In observance of World Suicide Prevention Day, nurse Marcy Martinez conducted an event today in an effort to bring more awareness to this health problem. She spoke with Love News about some key risk factors and prevention methods. Since 2003, the International Association for Suicide Prevention, in collaboration with World Health Organization, has promoted World Suicide Prevention Day. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's a day where we set aside, where we have a different activities to pay tribute and recognition for people who have committed suicide and to provide support for family members that have been affected by family members who have either attempted or completed suicide. Talk to us about some of the risk factors. Some of the risk factors for suicide include barrier to accessing health. Some people might be facing some form of stressors mm -hmm. and due to probably stigma or fear, mm -hmm. they don't really access the help, but help is available. Um, majority of the times when people attempt suicide has to do with some form of stressor or feeling depressed, feeling hopeless and worthless. Mm -hmm. And they for some reason they feel that suicide is the only way out. So how do we reach out to people like those? Okay, one of the main goals right now is awareness. We need to let the community be aware of the services available for them because there, there is services available for people feeling sad, depressed, hopeless. We are available at the mental health clinic. Myself and Nurse Jane Avila are available at the mental health clinic. And presently, since 2016, for example, in our area, the Stanford District, we have eight people who have attempted suicide and we have two who have completed suicide since 2016, January to August of right now. Reporting for Love News from Dangriga, I'm Harry Aizu.